playing with the folks. Um, my friend Willie T. Taylor, he gave me a little bottle of this beard oil. Because he said it prevents flyaway beard and it makes you smell nice. So I, he didn't say was it you know how much to use. I probably put too much on. Um, and and I went to the show I did it, uh, this weekend on Saturday in Lacrosse and I was waiting to play because it was a festival. There's a lot of people there. There's a lot of bands. I was sandwiched in between two rock bands, which is always kind of a weird place for a solo guy to be, but. I was kind of waiting to get on stage, and this this very uh, kind of inebriated young woman came up and, and punched me. And she said, I can see right through you. You, you. you act like you don't care, but you, but you really do. You Look at your oily beard. You, know, you act like you don't really care about your appearance. But you really, and I said, of course I do. Who doesn't care about their appearance sometimes? You know, I'm trying, just trying to make a good impression, you know. And she, she interrupted me and she goes, wash your face. <laughs> and, then, and then she was going to say some more stuff, but her friend came up and her friend was about a foot taller than her and grabbed her by the scruff of her collar like a kitten and like, like shook her. <laughs> and told her, said, stop that. <laughs> But now it's all I can think about is like, have I, have I put too much of this beard oil on? <laughs> I was going to call Willie T and ask him, how much do you put on? But now I'm embarrassed, you know, because I'm a, I'm a grown up, I'm 56 years old, I don't know how to take care of my own face, but apparently I don't. Um, this is a folk song about Arkansas. Son of a gun and catch what's his name. He stood seven feet two inches, his eyes and a 
brain I got so thin on sassafras tea I could hide behind a straw You bet I was a different lad when I left old Arkansas If I ever see your face again, I'm gonna hang down my paw. And I've been looking through a telescope from home, Dr. Saul.